gets when the pin is all the way back left in this little peninsula. You miss it a little bit left there, you're gonna find the barranca and you're probably gonna find a bogey or worse. Second shot here on the 13th hole. Choosing the nine iron here. <laughs> Nicely done. And Henny, what is she looking at here for this putt? This is downhill, can't be too bold. It's tracking. That's a great putt to make. She's on fire today and is building her advantage. And with that, she'll move to five under par. And that puts her in first place. The 14th, Rich, I know it's dear to your heart, the par three. You made an ace there in tournament history, won a car. How do you tell the players to play it? Hit a seven iron, uh, a high little draw seven iron and two hop it right in the hole, Luke. That's what I suggest. That makes it easy. Going with the six iron here. <laughs> Nicely done. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. That's a big time putt, that one. And their rival knows it too. They heard the cheers. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. They're in the bunker. Got a chance to get up and down. Let's take a look at the current standings. Our current leader is up by three shots. The 15th, Rich, uh, a very good par four. Although, if you're Victor Hovland, maybe the fairway's not in your line of sight. It's a great par four, and yet there's some players that have seen it a little bit differently lately. I always saw it as a dog leg from left to right. Just avoid that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. And this is an interesting green. It's got a high spot on the left, and it's got a low middle section and a high section on the right-hand side, and you never have a flat putt. It is always breaking one direction or another, and it's either straight uphill or straight downhill. This is the most difficult green on the golf course by a long margin. If you see it differently, you can hit it down the right, down 17 fairway, but I fail to see how that's any kind of advantage. Going with the eight iron here. She's managed to find the green on this approach. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie.
This really looks good. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. What a great feeling that must be. Seemingly an insurmountable lead for this player with just four to play. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Our leader is up by four shots now. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. The 16th at Riviera Ridge is the last chance to get amongst the birdies on a par three. A breathtaking short par three, 166, and Island Green surrounded by bunkers. Oh, trying to work a little draw into this flag. This is beautiful to watch. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Oh, what a super shot. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Still in the lead now after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. The last genuine scoring hole at Riviera is certainly this par 5 17th. Any hopes of getting it home in two, you better come up with something special off the tee and make sure to avoid the bunker on the right-hand side. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. Birdied their last hole. And just in the first cut here. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Oh, it's in the hole. And for birdie. Well, that'll move her up the leaderboard as well. Getting ready to play their third. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Four feet to the cup. And with that, she's going to extend her lead on the field. That's nine under par for the round. The finishing hole at Riviera, famous for so many exciting finales in uh, the tournament history. Rich, take us through the tee shot and approach. Tee shot up the hill, fairway tilts significantly from left to right. Missing it out to the right is a massive no-no. You'll be blocked out by a bunch of eucalyptus trees that you cannot hit it through. Second shot is to a green that actually tilts away from the players, not towards them, even though the second shot is uphill. Green is historically one of the firmest on the golf course, and getting it close is nearly impossible. 
It is a heck of a finishing hole. Opting for the five iron. Oh, what a wonderful play, leading with intent. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. A chance for her to win the event here. Looking good. Well, a spectacular week comes to a close. Congratulations to the Genesis Invitational winner, Riviera, the home of your champion. It was a Hollywood ending for this winner. What a performance all week long. And Rich, they did it. A slim lead going into that back nine, and yet they pulled out the win. This player stepped up when they needed it the most. That part of it is probably the most impressive thing to me, how they kept everybody else at bay. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.